Hello, what's happening everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing Thursday. So happy to be here. We're going to kick off things with some Binding of Isaac. Just going to spin that wheel and see where it lands. Thanks everybody for being here. Let's hop right into the game. And hey, before we do, let's get caught up as well. It'd probably help if I had the game window selected. Well, that did indeed help. Schroeder, 534. Thanks for seven consecutive months. And Elvis's Ghost, thanks for that great year of lurking, man. Lurker's number one. What's up, Esquire? Sirius Aganda, don't tread on this. Valdemar, 8-bit era, Sheep of the Night. Expendable Crewman, Malware, Ryosan. Electrilla, good to see you. So many wonderful people here. Burst Friends, thanks for the 18 months. Awesome year and a half. What's up, Reno, Goofling, Phaedra? Demon Lord, good to see you as well. Time to spin that wheel of children. Hey, Zen Bean, thanks for that monumental 66 months in a row. Legendary. Thanks so much. Okay, so since we re-rolled on our last, uh, our last run, we got Eden's blessing at some point ended up with uh the key key's an interesting item uh, the nice part about the key is it opens any locked door even during combat uh and we can get into the mega satan door for free with this if we wanted to but more likely than not we'll be using it to get quite a few secret rooms and uh, other locked rooms pretty cool starting item though to have by golly Yeah, okay, the Tech Axe first item, why not? Why not? Tech Axe is a little bit OP, but I mean, if they're going to give it to you first item, I can't turn that down. I would happily roll out of the Tech Axe, but even then. I mean, it's smarter to use the key there to open the door. That's okay, we can make up plenty of keys with that. But note about the banner, you can also open uh, secret, super secret rooms. Uh, even the double key rooms, I believe, open up uh, from it. Nice. Oh, I gotta press the button, right. There you go, button. Teleportion to item room, okay. Oh, I think the super secret room was out there. I should probably check that out. Oh, damage and speed, okay. Nice. Good evening, Delbach. What's good, man? Hey, feel better soon, Delbog. I'm doing great, man. Thanks for asking. Um, okay. This is actually good. It's going to take our shot rate way down, right? But it makes our, our donuts way slower, which is a huge advantage. Also doubles our damage. So, like, uh, uh, Ease Mascara has some really good synergy with that, with that. That's all I can say. If we get any tier rate at all, it's awesome. And it's good for boss situations. Having really a uh, lazy laser beam does a lot more damage. Um, extra seeker room per floor while hell was. Since we got the key, it makes a lot of sense. Grass facts. Thanks for the hundred bits, man, and the the good luck wishes. Do appreciate it. Wow, blue map would be really good here. Let's see if we can get that. Roasted. Okay, the point I was trying to make, the laser beam being on the target is what does the damage, so having a slower laser ring 
is is massively beneficial to the play. I don't know. Okay, not super secret there. Fair. Still got a room back there. Hmm. Hey, Monstro, you're gonna drop the pageant crown here. It's gonna happen, right? Ooh, look at that damage, though. Gimpy's all right, but shouldn't we give God a chance since we had such a nice build already? I think so. Sacred Heart would take our shots we do like a ridiculously low amount. Do want. Okay, we do want to find our secret room as well because the secret room will have... Oh, it's right here. No? Okay. Never mind. Could have money in we can also bomb our store here. Oh, the possibilities. Look at that, we got a .6 shot speed up there too. Hmm. Now uh, maybe the blue map isn't gonna be in our future here. I could buy battery and go for the secret room though. It's gotta be off that L room, it must. I gotta take a peek here, cause what if? Oh, an unidentified pill. I'll take that. Okay, no no dime poop. That's fair. Arcos, 26. Always says a welcome back to the damper. Thanks for that prime support. Really appreciate it. Going down? Gonna wait for my unlock uh, there, do that. Oh, roasted portals. This has been an awesome uh, tech X run. So good. I'm hoping we can slow our shot speed down even more. Anything's possible. Man. Telepathy for dummies, though, is pretty obscene with Tech Axe. So one, we get uh, purple lasers, and two, they home in on stuff. So, yes. Be the neon donut friend. I think the only way a Tech X runs bad is if it's like a really boring build, which is what I was worried about when I picked up first item. But now that we have homing and some other stuff, it feels good. You're not a good item. I'll take you, though, little hushy. So little hush uh, hangs out. Uh, wherever he is, when you let go, he starts moving again. So you can park him on top of bosses sometimes, but for, for most purposes here, he's going to be mostly dead weight. Um, I just don't feel the need to get any of that stuff. Maybe the Soul Heart. Rufio plays. Welcome back to the Dapper. Thanks for that prime love. You're awesome. Hey, glad you got it sorted, uh, KGBC. Thanks everybody in chat for helping out there, too. You guys are always so helpful. Super secrets here. You can tell because that room layout just screams, hey, super secret room here. Super secret rooms only connected to one other gray room and usually on the boss hallway. Here we are. The Hierophants. Hey, Delbog, thanks for that gift. And KGBC, welcome to the damp. Whoa! There's our god room, awesome. Sure, I'll take a luck up penny here. Bloop. Holy guacamole. I mean, I think we gotta go duality here. A scapular is cool and all, but who cares?
We get our key the old-fashioned way. Give me that. So that increases our uh, god room chance here, and even after we get our key piece, we can still go back to the devil room if we wanted to. Uh, it's full clear here for fun. Going down. You guys had any uh, cool Isaac builds lately? We've had some really uh, amazing re-roll runs the past few runs we've done. No shortage of uh, amazing combos to try out in this game. I'm actually loving this Tech X build. It's kind of a kind of a dream, right? dreamy uh, let's go ahead and roll that Ooh, the machines already cracked it looks like uh, a little gish okay knew better band-aid now what do you got instead of that key bum huh I'm gonna pass on that one okay that's pretty nice but the finger finger does like an invisible damage to stuff you pointed at pretty cool with a charge build also does really quick damage so it's nice versus some bosses like hush with armor reduction that's a sticky nickel double item rooms for a couple more floors sure Sure, you betcha. Get that sticky nickel, we'd have to bomb it. I'm not going to do that. Mostly because I don't have a bomb, and two, because I don't need that five cents. Mm -hmm. Roasted. I do not believe the finger is considered a follower, no. Yes! 0.16 shot speed down. That's exactly what we want. Look how lazy this is now. Look at look at how slow it goes. Going down. Good evening, Quaven. Wow, something like really fantastic uh, run, Bearded Flames. Thanks for sharing that. Hmm. Might as well use this here because we get it uh, get it back from this room, this larger room, or an L style room also charges uh, two bars on your item. Look at this guy running away. Good for him. It's in here. 
Java C Slip. Thanks for 40 consecutive months. Really appreciate that. Hope you're having a great night. Eh. Monstro is like, he's kind of, kind of loud and guillotine, very disorienting. But hey, what the hell, let's go for it. We can become disoriented. So our, our head now became an orbital and our body, our body is the hitbox. There you go, Kane. Still gonna be fine because we got crazy tech X, but. Jeez. Gonna be pretty spicy. Ooh, that tears up really helped. Really helped. Fair play. Yeah, I'll take that. It means we won't be getting more space bar items, which is probably good because the uh, the homing ability here is pretty nice. I don't think there's much else we'd want to drop for that right now, unless we got a homing item and then we could trade it out. But we're looking good on keys too. Well, the tarot card is definitely nice here, but an unnecessary expenditure since we're doing so well. Hey, war, what's good, man? How you doing? Roasted. We need at least our other key piece. Hello. This is good, right? Yes, it is indeed quite good. So it's not always going to be great, but a lot of times it will be. Pretty nice. If you add homing into that, it's pretty, uh, pretty brutal, man. Boss rush gonna be a breeze here. We have a pretty great hush build too, especially with having the finger as well. Zippin' and a zoopin'. What's in here, you think? Um, I guess 99 bombs is what we want. That should be helpful. If that's not helpful, I'm doing it wrong. Greetings! Ooh, okay, okay. Steam sale's not bad. We're really gonna see one more store here in Hush, but it's coming. Oh, Spooter. That was nice. All right, I'm gonna save my book here for the start of boss rush. We don't need it.
Okay, explosion immunity is too good to pass up here. We got to do it. That's fine, Bloat. Have it your way. Hey, there's adversary. Who's adversarial now? Not you. Oh, okay. I can prism uh, my own shots. I got it. Just got to run the thing through it. That's even better. Dangerous, but cool. Okay, deaths here. Mariner, 11 6 63. Thanks for the four consecutive months. Glad the stream's been a consistent place for you to relax for so long. It's really wonderful to hear. Thank you. Okay, as a. Uh, Could have done better there. Could have done a lot worse. Going down. Nice. Double Edmonds. What's going on with this room here? Nothing good. Nothing good. Oh, I didn't get that button? Okay. A terrible guillotine room. Uh, we're gonna do that because this can make a lot more black hearts for us. Are we gonna XL right now? We are. Okay. found the boss is good. I'll get there eventually. Who's the boss? It's you, Teratum. I don't even need homing shot for you. Just get roasted. Alright, we're also gonna not use homing shot on mom here.
Cletus. Thanks for 19 consecutive months, man. Really appreciate that. Enjoy the pepperonis. Okay, I mean, this could be uh, another shot speed down, maybe. Okay, it looks like .6 is where it likes to stop you. We're as slow as they go. Battery, okay. Unidentified pill, that won't stand. Man, wouldn't Libra be pretty decent here? I think it is. Let's check it out. Yeah, we got less damage now, but more tier rate. More tier rate means more donuts. Probably technically an overall damage down for that, but uh, there's still no regrets taking it. It'll balance out later. So it's tempting to use the prism here, but really just keeping damage on points the way to go. I guess homing shots would probably help too. That was pretty cool. Oh my goodness, would you look at that. Electric Sheep, triple seven. Thanks for seven consecutive months. And that lurk and Teely Bear. Thanks for that huge 42. Hope you're having a great one. Oof. Okay, a little rough uh, there in the hush fight. Mostly because we have guillotine. That's all right. No soul heart there. Fair. Bomb here. Unidentified pill, take that. Tears down, no problem. Now that we have Libra, it's not so bad. Libra balances out uh, stat down pills. I mean, it distributes it across all of our stats, which is nice. Dave J12, thanks for the 40 bits. Really appreciate your generosity. Yeah, it'll be nice for the next floor. Get some extra items to start. <laughs> Ghostman's, please.
going up. Um, sure, we'll take that. It was an overall stat up, indeed it was. Thanks, Libra. Cancer will be decent here, too. Look at this plus three soul hearts uh, and a damage buffer. Uh, after we take damage, we'll only take a half heart damage from all sources in the room. Hmm, does this work with Tech X? Probably not. Oh, indeed it does. That's pretty cool. That's a spicy meatball. It's a pretty crazy interaction. Unexpected. Look at all the purple! It's actually one of the cooler Tech X uh, builds I've ever had. He's got little crab fingers, too. gonna do what I think it does indeed that's pretty not nah, awesome that's a good trinket the good old loopy worm that's actually kind of cool because once we have the uh, the homing here it's gonna make them spread out even better Sure, we'll take Conehead, why not? Gotta get some more items here before we go to the Void. I wasn't gonna go to Void, I was gonna stop at Mega Satan, but I didn't. The Viking Down Under, thanks for the 17 consecutive months. Whoa! Okay, Fruitcake gives you a different tier effect every tier. We also have uh, Poison Immunity, or sorry, Bomb Immunity, so we're totally set up good here for that. This build really escalated. Hey, got Godhead there for a sec. Dead burb. Okay, get in there. You're burbing it. Explosivo! Lord, I think I'm gonna pass on there. Much I just love to grab a spoon and get on in there? Probably not. Jackety. Welcome to the damper. I want to say it's a welcome back. Thanks so much for that prime support. Really appreciate that. Bud, I'm proud of you. We gotta take this Algees rune with us to the inn. Let's go collect some health and stuff while it's here. I mean, I guess we could forget me now here. Is it gonna get better? I don't know. I think I am. I don't think we're gonna get much better than this. We can get a transformation, maybe. No, we're gonna move on to the delirium floor now.
Nice. Alright, so on this floor, the Delirium boss fight is going to be in a 2x2 two two room, so the same size as the boss rush we did in the Depths 2. Uh, but only a single room is going to be showing, so that's how you find your Delirium door versus other doors on this floor. Now, if we see a boss room, we're just going to walk into it, because worst case scenario, uh, we have a great build. Oh god. Okay! Can't believe we took no damage there with the guillotine. So flashy. Cowboy, thanks for 45 months in a row. You keep watching, I'll keep streaming. It's a deal. That's handy. Creeping on up on four years, dude. Nice. Black Rune's interesting here. We get some stats from that. But with Libra, eh, it's okay. Okay, I don't care about that button in the middle, though. Just don't. Hey, Delirium might be able to be here. Let's find out. Ah, oh, that's it, Lips. Hey, we had Jacob's Ladder there for a second. Should have done that to begin with. Oh, the Epicenter. Full mapping, there we go. Okay, so really likely the Delirium fight is on the bottom left there. Let's go towards it. <laughs> Fair enough. Cheese and rice is so hard to see though. Probably go back and heal a little bit here. We'll see about that. Explosion immunity, nice. Don't forget to taste the sizzle on your way out. Fair enough. Spawns a trapdoor. I want the Algees rune again. We'll see about that, huh? Hey, a two harder. Nice. Thanks, game. We fought Mom's Heart three times now, since Delirium kind of mimics other uh, the bosses you fought. A uh, good chance of us getting a stationary, uh, stationary boss for quite a bit of the fight. Oh, it wasn't okay. Fair enough. 
Fair enough, Isaac Guy. The knife is definitely not a desire right now. Would actually ruin our build a bit. Okay, so Delirium is this right door over here. You can tell it's not the bottom right one, because it'd have to connect uh, one room to the left of that. That big room just can't fit there in the bottom right. Yeah, you can tell he's very mad. All right, you ready to rumble, Deliria? You ready? I don't think this guy's ready. Don't forget to eat your donuts, though. GG. Good game, well played. You did good, Delirium, kind of. That was a really fun build for getting Tech X first item. I don't think it could have turned out much better than that. Nice one. Mr. BG, thanks for those bits, man. Appreciate that. That calls for some dapper time. GG, what a fun run that was. I think that's gonna satisfy my Isaac itch for today, though. Let's hop into Spelunky and do the daily there and see how it goes. There it is. 
title swap here. All right, let's just start off with the daily here. We'll just see how it rolls. Yesterday's daily had a really rough start. Took three damage right off the bat out of her four health, but still managed to have an okay run. We'll see how this goes. Okay. It's interesting. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Why so many bats, though, you think? Okay, we'll be down there in a sec. Whoa! Oh, we're not getting that, Pucks. We don't got any paste. deal with that though I guess we're gonna rope We could get pups here. Take us another rope, though, so probably not. Probably not. A little skull up by the uh, bombs and ropes is the daily symbol. Okay, yes, I do want that. I'm probably going to come back for ropes as well. Okay, there's that. Ropes would be 2,500, I think. Greetings, snake. More importantly, is our key sequestered up here? I'm going to say probably yes. Okay. We can get more ropes back if we bomb through here. We're going to do it. Yeah, there's puppy and the key. Okay, so we're gonna grab the key, we're gonna open the chest, and we're gonna come back for pups. shame. Fair enough, though. Okay, that's enough to buy our ropes here. Uh, compass, not quite. I would like the compass. That's interesting that Urn passed through the enemy without killing it. I wonder why. Must have been just right. Hmm. All right, it's an okay level. 
A terrible chill. What could that possibly? Oh, spooky ghost. Get whippity and whappity. Um, okay. Yes, you did hit yourself in the face with the rock. Good job, Van Helsing. Ooh, 11,000 there, I mean. I think we're just gonna buy bombs here, or maybe even the smarter move is to buy the paste instead. Let's compromise here and go paste in this. I want the 12 bombs, but if I don't have paste later on, that's gonna be a major problem. I do indeed uh, play with controller Salem. So I don't know how to answer that. It's just how I play. I will say, uh, getting decent at aiming in Spelunky took me quite a bit of time. As with all things, practice makes proficient. Spiders. Nobody wanted more spiders. Nobody asked for that. Spring shoes. I have found, I guess, a few tips for throwing stuff. I found that uh, using the D-pad is much easier, of course. But uh, jumping and then throwing diagonally has been the, uh, the most effective for me for actually hitting stuff. Straightforward shots are a little bit harder to, to land, but the diagonal ones are, they almost always go, not a perfect diagonal, but close enough. Also, momentum is a huge part of how projectiles work in Spelunky, so if you're running and jumping in the same direction you're throwing, your projectile is going to go much farther, much faster. gonna leave that cultist right there you can have that one bud yeah that's good stuff right there give me the loot 14 ropes would be more than enough with having spring shoes to make it on through that's right cake donut thanks for the 38 consecutive months and pointing that out uh, that frog in the hole in the shortcut room sure does help you get those diagonal shots down that's right Okay, we heard the blippins. Blippins mean there's a black market here early, so again, we're getting the black market on uh, the first level of the jungle. Interesting. Surprising you. Okay, that's fair. Frog, why would you do that, man? Man, I don't know. Getting here with uh, no health isn't exactly good. Okay, let's go see if we can find like a Paparini pizza or something around here.
Oh, hey, there he is. I mean, I definitely want to do this so that we get a health. Costly for resources, but we'll, we'll hang. Okay. Well, that second box without using a bomb kind of out of the question. Two health, here we go. Best case scenario here, there's some puppy kisses available. I don't see any puppy kisses yet, though. With a jetpack, though, I like this guy. How much is that shotgun? $21,000. Maybe I can scratch that up. Maybe. Okay, nice puppy kiss center. Budge! I knew as soon as I jumped on that vine it was a bad idea, but that's okay. Let's see where that place is still top hundo. I'll take that. Great attempt. Well, if that's our first run of the night, we certainly got some hope. All right, before we head into this run, though, I'm going to take a very short break here. Stand up, stretch my legs, and I encourage you to do the same. Be back in just a few short moments to take on another run of Spelunky. We'll see if we can go through the Worm in Mothership tonight or some other variation of that. Black Market's always our goal, and we'll take it from there. See you all in just a few short minutes. No ads or anything like that for this break. Just enjoy the Sleepy Kitty, and we'll be back soon.
What a good little kitty we got. All right, Winston, I won't pet you anymore. Let's hop into another run of Spelunky. Thank you all for being here today. Do very much appreciate it. Let's hop right back in. We died in a spike pit last time. We made it all the way to the black market. Pretty nice. Surely this run will be better. That's a pupperini pizza right there. Sorry, pups. It does, King Dingling, unless you do quick restart, in which case you don't respawn in the chamber. It will do the walls are shifting thing, because every run of Spelunky is its own unique entity. Oof. That was my fault. Basically, the plot line for Spelunky is you're an adventurer and you're trapped here in these dungeons, and every time you die, you, you respawn in a new dungeon and have to go try to find loot again. Rinse and repeat. Power slide, pups. Hope this bat doesn't get stuck in a spider web. JK. Oh, to answer that question about uh, Isaac dailies in the chat there as we were going on break, a fair question as we do dailies uh, sometimes in other games. I don't do the, the Isaac daily because you have to disable mods for um, to do the daily. And I really enjoy the curse disabler, especially for streaming. So for that reason, we don't do the, uh, the Isaac dailies. We'd have to disable all of our mods and then re-enable if we want to do another run. I know, Cake Donut. That's my problem. I see a cat and I want to pet the cat. And then, like, that's my problem. I just want to pet the kitties. And then sometimes you pet the kitty too much, and then the kitty gets mad at you, and you got a little bitsy kitsy on your hand. That's okay. I'll get mauled for pets. Speaking of getting mauled, Winston is the best little player ever. He's never even drawn blood on me. He'll kick you, bite you, do all sorts of stuff, but no, nope, not hard enough to hurt you. All right. Hey, Spooderman. Oh, God. Have you considered not doing that? Let me try one thing right here. Sorry for that short intermission. Okay, key's right there. It should mean the chest is over here, too. Hold on, this snake's gonna spit at me. Hey. Great. Okay, that works. I actually thought we weren't going to be able to get that without using a rope, but we found a way. Yeah, Broadwin, it's an isolated issue, is what I've been told by staff. The audio pop doesn't happen only on my stream. Uh, it's just kind of a, a weird thing that they're aware of that still happens. Thanks for five consecutive months. Appreciate you. My guess is it's a hardware thing uh, with specific, specific games being encoded. It has to be, because most people don't hear the noise. Yeah, 
Yeah, what Zion1112 there is saying is what I've heard lots and lots of times. I think it might have to do with uh, individual games. I notice it happens more on Spelunky than other games I play, and sometimes after switching to Spelunky. But God knows. I'm just glad we have uh, access to all the amazing technology and resources that we do. What a wonderful life. Happy go lucky cherry blossom. Thanks for the five consecutive months. Really appreciate that. Your avatar affects no gameplay whatsoever, Luigi and Tails. Okay. Yes, Runtar, climbing glove. Any item can spawn inside of a box, including the plasma rifle. Oh, um, no, I do want to take that rock with us. One less giant spider in the world. Oof. Hey, thanks, Delbach. We always do. I'm a real stickler for going back and listening to broadcasts and trying to troubleshoot any issues that I can. That sound bug's been going on for a long time, and on lots of streams, I've talked to a couple staff members about it, too. It's just one of those weird things. Ooh, I don't want to be there. Okay, that one's already gotten busted. See if we get an early black market here again. I doubt it. Whoa! I appreciate people trying to help, but as we just mentioned, we've tried every single possibility from streaming program, uh, changing mics, all sorts of audio stuff, and I've talked to lots of staff and other streamers as well. The conclusion is it's super random and usually related uh, per game. I appreciate people uh, wanting to help, but saying that you have the noise, don't have the noise, doesn't really help anything. Some people get the noise and some people don't, and I've been told that it's on Twitch's end, uh, not the broadcasters, so it's a really weird and sometimes frustrating issue. Luckily, it happens very rarely uh, on this stream. Sometimes tech issues just boil down to you gotta deal with what it is. I've done everything on my end, I assure you. I wonder if I can get this guy over there in time. Okay, maybe not. That was a risky play. I just wanted to see how far I could get him over there. Oh, 
I thought standing on the edge saved me. Let's give it another go. But yes, thank you everyone for the suggestions this picture you just said, but I'd like to move on. bombs. Okay, three bombs is still good. Mm -hmm. Hey, we could have baited that skeleton off that way. Neat. That was a real dead guy. I didn't think he was, not even for a second. Ox. Thanks for the four consecutive months. Appreciate you keeping it damper. Ooh, that was a nasty damage. A hell of an urn toss there, Van Helsing. Wow. Didn't know you could even do it like that. Omoshan, thanks for 58 months in a row. Legendary streak. Thanks so much. for a uh, jetpack here. Give it to me, please. Okay, but there's a jetpack right there. Oh, I want some money. Nice. I'm gonna give it right back to the casino, though. That's it right there, man. Nice. Easy jetpack, easy life. It cost me $5,000 for that jetpack. I'm sure it's real high quality, too. Okay, key's up here, so we gotta do that. Ah, dang. Academia, thanks for 47 months in a row. Creeping on up on that. Four years. There's a dangerous urn smash there. Alright, now we don't have to get so full of hubris that we die here, but we need to be, still be good. You're going a little fast, Van Helsing. You're scaring the kids. Okay, so I can get that for free. Nice. Good old pepperoni pizzas. Don't aggro that spider. Oh, hey, we don't have paste yet, so we do. 
Um, it's a tough one. Do I actually have to use a rope here? I think I might. Now oh, we got it. Oh, that's not great. Okay. Gonna go around the other side then. The arrow trap's already gone off, and we should have done it from this side to begin with. Been much easier. Oh, God. Okay. That's fine. I'll buy one puppy kisses. That guy was set up for failure from the beginning. Alana Ray, the gaming cat. Thanks for the 43 consecutive months. What a wonderful streak. Hope you're having a great night. Excellent corn dogs. Double item, though. Oh, I hear Puppy. Where's he at? Alright, so every torch you light on a dark level is worth 300 casholas. Every scarab you collect is worth 5k. Oh, no. Okay, we're gonna bomb here. Oh no, puppy! That's a bummer. Now, let's at least uh, make the most out of Puppo's body here. Okay, can I relight the torch here? I think so. Yes. Uh, man trap up there. Probably not worth pursuing. Ah, uh, forever stuck in a hole. Good job, Skelly. Frog, that was just a bad idea the whole way. I could have told you that. Wow, we got so much money there. Awesome. So now that we're here in the jungle and we have the eye, what we want to end up doing is making sure we're checking all the way left and all the way right on all levels. By doing that, we make sure we have our best chance of seeing the black market, which is definitely a goal of ours here. Okay. That was a most lucrative dark level, which is great. So that's the really only saving grace for dark levels is they're almost always very lucrative. Greetings, giant frog. Black market always shows up in uh, the first, second, or third jungle level. Pretty nice. going to go. Uh, 
Okay, there's the blibbins. Um... Is it actually inside here, though, is the question. Let's go down here and check. Oh, there's bees. I like bees. Not that much. Okay, well, we probably should fight bees, because some jelly would be awful nice. Mm -hmm. There it is. Get ourselves some plus four HP, grab a boomerang, and get on out of here. We're gonna buy compass here for sure. Greetings, frog. Enjoy your face, boomerang, on the house. Everybody gets a boops. I got five bombs here. Is gonna be some bombs around? Ooh, that's tough. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I gotta gotta get to action here. Get to doing it. <laughs> what? Okay. Now with one bomb, we can do a little bit of work here. Oh, that is not what I wanted there. Okay. going on down here? Wow, there's just not bombs available. Okay. You know, that's fair. I accept. Hey, you should come this way, shopkeep. Oh my god. Did I get the onk here? I did not. I gotta go back. Okay. There was three bombs in the whole black market. That might be the worst bomb black market I've ever seen. Not much I can do about it. Naxxus 9X. Thanks for the 20 consecutive months. Appreciate you keeping it dapper. Okay, we should be able to shoot him from here then.
All right, no store, no easy access items. Fair enough. Kind of hoping for a store here, right? We got to resurrect inside the stone head uh, if it's here or the next level. But it sure would be nice if we could get some bombs anywhere. Well, there goes my shotgun, but that's all right. We're going to lose the shotgun when we resurrect, so it all works out. Okay, that could be good. Okay, it's teleport remote instead, so it's not. I'm gonna bring the puppy to the exit here, and then after that stuff, we're gonna drop off. Resurrection time. We can't get a shotgun again here, but if we do, we're going to lose it um, at 4-1. We have to get the uh, the staff from Anubis, which could be very interesting with three bombs. Oh, a freeze ray. That's nice. Something, anyways. What an interesting uh, exit this is. Okay, ooh, three bombs is significant, because it's three more than I had. Whoa, somebody got roasted over here. Did I hear pups? Hmm. Okay, it's gonna let that pups go. Jeff's joined hands. Thanks for the 15 consecutive months. Really appreciate that. Great question, Captain Janor. The reason you resurrect is to get one half of your key piece of the City of Gold. You get a hat for resurrecting, and then you get a uh, staff from Anubis here inside the temple. Those two things combined uh, allow you to go to the City of Gold, which will spawn on 4-3. All right, that guy's already mad. Why are you mad, those? Okay, that's fine. There's the Nubis. Can I reach him? A normal way without bombs looks like no. Damn. I guess the uh, easiest way in's down here. I kind of refuse to believe that. Let's see what's uh, going on. I don't know. Maybe we can get that from the other side or something. <laughs> Looks like no. Okay. Well, I still would like to go to hell, right? So we're going to figure out how we're getting into Nubis here. Sack the pups. I guess that was it. Pasting at the exit was how to get him. Fair. Uh, do I use one more bomb here? I'm going to because it takes us right to the exit, right? Hey, Zimius Canart, congratulations on your best progression yet in Spelunky. 
Sorry you died. That will happen. Good run, though. All right, so somewhere on our main uh, main route here on 4-1. If only I had the resource to really get to those. I guess I could bomb down and hope one of those is bombs. That seems a bit much. There it is. Okay. You know what? I am going to go back here. Either we're going to get some bombs here or we're not. But if I don't even look here, I think I have some major regrets because what else is good? Ropes and... Okay, we got three bombs back. Okay, I'll go one more deep then. Well... We're right back to where we were, except for we got six more ropes. Okay, it's about to get tricky here. We definitely didn't need more ropes, but that's what we got. Oh yeah, okay. It's the only bomb I can really afford there. All right. Oh my god, that was a thwomp right there. Ho <laughs> oh, ho! That was not a good spot to fight him, but with no bombs to throw at him, I tried out something different. Uh, the reason we got Bork there is that he passes through walls instead of just uh, coming at you like Anubis 1 does. So we need to have a more open area to fight him in. So he's only a few uh, a few jumps away from, from killing him. If you don't kill him there, you have to kill him inside of the Olmec fight, which I guess with the jetpack probably wouldn't be too bad either. A few different options if we get that same situation with no bombs. That wouldn't be my choice next time, but I'm glad we tried it. Stylagurk, welcome to the Dapper. Really appreciate that support. Thanks so much for that prime love. Just thank you all for everything you do to make this content possible. I appreciate you all. And even if you cannot monetarily support and only spend time watching here, just uh, thanks so much for your contribution. I really do appreciate it. The amount of time we've all shared together over the past uh, six plus years now is pretty incredible. Appreciate it every day. That was a quick drop down. I'm not going to throw the pupsy. Oh, shenanigans. Three ropes isn't bad. Probably not worth a bomb here, but you know, we'll see. Um Sorry, Pops, I know it hurt. It hurt me too.
Okay, have a nice fall, bud. Uh, yes, do one and do one as well. Spring shoes are awesome. They let you jump one tile higher. That is a bit more of a fall damage hazard. But overall, I would say uh, jumping shoes are mega worth. Sack him for glasses. Okay, the next sack we can get the... Oh my goodness, did we miss our key? No, because it's right above the chest. Huzzah. Lucky us. Hey, congratulations on your first Olmec kill, Gawante. That's excellent. Hey, really good question, Omega X. Omega X asks what that skull was that we saw earlier in the last level. Uh, that's the golden idol. They can appear uh, quite a few places in Spelunky, but the special ability of... So let me collect my thoughts here. The special ability of the idol on the mine level is that it summons a giant boulder that chases you down. So generally speaking, it's the most dangerous to collect the golden statue here on the mines. The reason it's dangerous, you can smash uh, into a shopkeep or something, and they don't necessarily appreciate that. Okay, we're going to have our blood goblet really early here, so we probably should do a little bit of blood farming. Maybe use one rope here. You can see a physical representation of the goblet filling up as we collect these blood drops. Fun fact here, you can actually collect your own blood drops. Wild and crazy world, huh? Give me that juice! Ooh, who's almost dead? That's you. Hey, a very fair point, Alarea, that the uh, you can also end up crushing your key in chest, which I've done several times. And that part's pretty important if you're trying to do a hell run like we are. Okay, you win this time, spider. Next time, though, I'm gonna get you. Wow, we get a third sacrifice? Yes, yeah, nuts. Near death experience. Building character. -da -da. Okay, we want to kill that spider for the pace, though. That's right, any blood you physically touch. Goes into the goblin. Nailed it. Um. On a scale of one to giant freaking spider. It's a pretty big spider, though. I think we can all agree. Help! I do have spike shoes here. Smooth frickin' move, Van Helsing. Wow, did you look at that, Yusukai? Thanks for the 205 bits. Really appreciate that generosity. And look at those shamrocks. Awesome. Whoops. Give me some of that juice then, frog. It's the least you can do after that. 
I think one of the cooler parts of the spring shoe is you can jump uh, all the way on top of the Tiki's, which is nice. I heard a Paparini, I did. And juice this guy right here. Get juiced! Oh, you're dead now, okay. That's right, I got spike shoes. Pepperoni pizza! Alright, we're gonna juice the pups here. It's nothing personal pups, you know. It's got juice to get, that's all. That juice. Okay, I see the black market entrance right here. We're going for it. I hope we have a little bit better luck this time to get more than three bombs in the black market. Brunzy77, welcome to the Dapper. Thanks so much for that Prime support. Huge thank you to everybody that does subscribe and resubscribe, which was Prime. is a huge uh, part of why this channel is full-time. You're all just wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay, I can see we got mad bombs and stuff down there. We got 15 right now, so we're going to make the, the most of it. It's not where I wanted to put my rope, but all right. Oh, that's right, we got the glove. There we go. Beamed. Okay. I convinced myself that we had killed the shopkeep there, but that was actually not the case. We made it to the black market successfully again, though. That was a really sneaky shopkeep. I'm going to slow this one down just a smidge. Hey, Keyboard Plus Face, uh, thank you for that wonderful suggestion. I'm going to pause and read your suggestion here. Uh, Keyboard Plus Face says, I recommend buying stuff in the bottom mid part of the black market to make it less likely uh, of you having to make the dangerous trek there later for bombs. That's a really wonderful suggestion. Thank you for taking the time to communicate that so well. Really appreciate that. A great tip. So in that previous black market, uh, is correct that we would have been much better off buying the bombs from the bottom, and then if we cleared the top, we would have had, you know, uh, 29 bombs to work with to clear the rest of the black market instead of just that 15. My guess there, you come with no horn, is that the shopkeep jumped over the bomb or was out in the right-hand portion, so he wasn't even with the actual store. I think that's the only way that went down the way it did. Now, if I would have uh, recognized I had the pitcher's mid and throw in the bomb uh, into the gap to start with, I think it was much more likely we killed the second shopkeep there. But, alas, the timing was not in our favor. Okay, well, we're gonna we get in here for out of bomb. No, we can get. Oh, lordy! Duck and cover. Van Helsing's on a rampage. Okay, we got the eye. We got the pups. Got to use a rope here too. Yikes! Important part is we have the eye. 
And we're about to get 12 more bombs. Excellent. Never doubted you for a minute, dead guy. I knew you were a real dead guy the whole way. check over here. What's the worst that could happen? This urn could be cursed with snakes. Papo, I did not mean that. I was just trying to pick you up. You come on down to me, though. Good boy. I think bats are my number one damager tonight, which is um, pretty wild. Okay, I'm gonna rope up here just to buy this, uh, this compass. It'll help us out later. Okay, we missed that one, but the bank was still open, as it often is. <sighs> okay, well, you know, I think we're just gonna let this one go, but I really wanted to kill that snake, not gonna lie. Hi, Vena. Thanks for 48 consecutive months. That's four consecutive years. Unreal. Almost to that half century. Thanks so much for keeping it dapper. Really appreciate that. Okay, I'll buy bombs, I guess. Oh, I should have bought the paste instead. Okay, we're gonna buy the paste so we don't have to deal with these giant spiders. Ooh, if that was a real dead guy, he would have touched me. Got a lot of rats in your store, sir. Just saying. Voo voo. Thanks for the 100 bits, dude. Appreciate your generosity. Hope you and the kitties are having a great night. Kitties number one. Ah! Oh. You know, cultist, I would say I feel for you here, but I think you put yourself in that situation. We both know that. I'll be going this way, thanks. Well, you know, I think that level could have put a few more spiders in there, you know, if they wanted to. Can I throw something at that? No, I'm gonna use a rope here, cause I know better. Man, I'm actually kind of worried here about seeing the whole level. Let's do this real quick. Make sure our black market's not in some weird uh, cubby over here. Okay, I'm moderately satisfied. Oh my God. Did you know I almost died, man? Okay. Boop. 
that rock passed directly through that frog. That frog was hacking. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Okay, I can get the puppers here. Let's whip that fish right in the face. Fish face. I was gonna say our black market was not here. All the fish down there, there's a giant piranha at the bottom of that lake. Which will also home in and try to get you. Sacrificed. Oh yeah, there's treasure down there too, of course. But, uh, you know, the giant fish is really the main concern. Okay, here's the dealio. If we're gonna get uh, get over there to the left hand side, we gotta do so from over here. Heck yeah, Chess Network, Jerry. Hope you're having an awesome night, sir. Thanks so much, keep it down for the past 34 months, almost three years of continuous support. Hey, thanks for those 340 bits too, Jerry. Hope you're just having a great one, dude. Okay, it's not. Gonna go down here real fast just to make sure the black market's not there. Okay, I'm now satisfied the black market is not behind the store. Oh! Did I hear a blippins? Well, I was right about it not being on that side. God bless that frog. Okay, got Puppo kisses down there. We got enough health to make. What is that? That's a crazy setup. I'm gonna buy these 12 bombs here. Let's just get to cooking. So we're gonna have some slamming and jamming to do. Okay, I didn't mean to rope there, but you know, whatever. Ropes and things. There. Oh, it was a bubble, wasn't it? Always with the bubbles. Kobe. Oh, he's dead down there. Cool. Okay, Pupperini's still alive. Got bombs down there? Lots of them. Alright, in that case, do a bit of a sneak here. I'm gonna bomb once more, because if I don't, we're not gonna have a way to jump back up. All right, roasted and things. B 
Spike guy, uh, he doesn't have spike shoes. No cape, no jetpack. That's crazy. Okay, now that we've robbed from the black market, there's gonna be an angry shopkeep at the end of every level. I'm gonna have to be careful of that. Oh man, I hear Paparini and the sacrifices right there. Hey. Double dead guy. Okay. Yeah, this is too good to pass up. I'm gonna put this down, drop a rope right there. I'm gonna take a uh, dead ski guy here. Spike shoes, okay. We should also be very close to getting another item here. Okay. Snail, I gotta tell you, I didn't appreciate that. Uh, I gotta be like one minor sacrifice away. Okay, forget about it. I'm going to take this and go. I don't know. There's the dead guy, though. Okay. Sadly, I know it's exactly one more now. Take that, bat. Okay, we're gonna have to rush after this. We've used up a lot of time here of our two and a half minutes before the ghost appears, uh, sacrificing bodies to Kali. There it is. So two live bodies and four dead ones equals one puppo value. Kinda did it the hard way there, but that's all right. Wow, good time to have a shotgun there. Uh-oh. Black Rabbi, thanks for the 16 consecutive months. Sorry for not seeing that sooner, but hope you're having the most amazing evening. That rock can definitely damage us, by the way. Big time. Okay, well, she's not very happy. At least we got the blood goblet before she got pissed off, huh? Smooth frickin' J. Three one complete. Our smooth jazz in there too. That's excellent. That was excellent.
Okay, so on 3-2 or 3-3, there's going to be a stone resurrection head. And we can use that head to resurrect using the Ankh that we stole from the black market. It's looking to me like it's not going to be on this level, but... Let's check all the way over to the side to make sure, because we can't afford to goof this one. Twelve more bombs, awesome. It's a bomb bonanza! Huh. All right, buddy. Okay, on this next level, we're going to resurrect. That's going to be a guarantee. If it's not on 4-2, it's going to be on 4-3. Let's figure out where the altar stands before we even go for resurrect. Still want to kind of clear here. There it is. So I'm going to take the puppy with me, because we can drop the puppy off at the exit before we die. That'd be best case scenario. It is indeed our plan to die on this level, so uh, if we can get the puppy dropped off before the end of the level, before we die and use our resurrection, it's always going to play out best for us. Get that extra HP on spawning. And now we're going to float on down. Okay, now we're going to resurrect inside the head. It's going to give us a stupid hat. That's one out of two pieces to get inside the City of Gold. Then we're also going to get that fifth HP since we dropped the puppy off. Nice. Yes, uh, blowing up the Kali Shrine did take us backwards on points, so we're no longer close to that extra 8 HP bonus that we were before. That's one sequestered pups. Oh. 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 It's gonna drop out here. All right. Nubis lives! Okay, gonna use a bomb here to get rid of that thwomp, thanks. Oh, I didn't do it, okay. Damn you sausage fingers! Hey, Shopkeep's dead too. Good for him. That was like an incredibly easy 4 1. Just a straight drop down with Anubis right at the spawn. Cool. Thanks for the clarification there, Baller Lord. Baller Lord says that the altar is minus 16 favors, so two, uh, two damsel sacrifices worth. To put that in perspective there, you uh, use the same amount of sac you lose the same amount of sacrifice points it takes you to get the goblet uh, when you anger Kali. There it is. Okay, no playing around, let's go. I don't know, I'm just gonna bomb down here, I think. Well, hold on, there's a thwomp right there. Okay, I think 
If we bomb right here and place the bomb on there, it's gonna get the thwomp. Okay, good. Those have already fired. Nice. Be back for that in a sec. Pitcher's mitt? Yes. Might as well farm up a little bit of HP here since we have the uh, the goblet on us. Good old mummy puke. That was really too good to pass up. We'll go to 20 HP here. Easy peasy. Gun, I don't think so. Ropes for everyone. Spring shoes, I already got those. Okay, let's find out where our blood goblets is singing, or our necro here. Alright, necro says we're over here. So we're gonna bring Olmec all the way to the uh, left hand side here, I believe. It's going to be too far of a drop down. Ah, what the hell? I'll use one more rope. Huzzah! Oh, God, he's still... No! -ho -ho! That was incredible, and I actually didn't know the red guys threw you like the yetis. What a way to get spelunked. God, Spelunky is such an amazing streaming game. I'm going to be straight with you guys. I didn't see that coming at all. But on a good note, we did learn something new about that enemy type, and that's that they throw you like the yetis. I've never actually been dunked by that particular enemy. Considering we had no uh, no jetpack, no cape, that run was still going pretty good. Bunny Wild, thanks for 500 bits. Appreciate your generosity. Rip indeed. That was a very entertaining death, and what more could you ask for a streaming Spelunky? All right, tell you guys what, I'm going to take a short break here, stand up, stretch my legs, then we'll come back and do it again. And Verosic, welcome to the... Or sorry, thanks for the three consecutive months. Thanks for keeping it, Dapper. So much love going around. Yeah, absolutely, since we learned something new. And getting that far without the uh, the caper jetpack is also a very big accomplishment for myself. So, Thanks for taking the time to clip that, Saltmonger. Do appreciate that. All right, tell you all what, we're going to take a short break right here. I'm going to stand up stretch. We're actually going to run a few ads during this break. We only do three minutes for the entire show, so it's going to happen right now. If you allow ads to play, I greatly appreciate it. If you don't, still very much appreciate your time here. And as always, never run any ads during the gameplay or commentary. And appreciate your time very, very much. We'll be back in just a few short moments to take on another run of Spelunky. What a fun death that was. See you all in just a few short minutes. Singe, thanks for 17 months, man. Appreciate you.
I just don't understand where all these paws are coming from. Winston, you are the cutest. All right, thank you everybody for your patience during that short intermission. Let's hop right back into another run. I honestly wasn't anticipating on doing this many runs of Spelunky, but you know what? We're gonna get one, darn it. I think that last run really encapsulated a lot of a lot of spelunky runs. You do a lot of good things and then make one mistake and your run's over. It's kind of part of the bag. I think it's one of the things that makes uh, spelunky such a wonderful streaming game is you have uh, so many opportunities for some really uh, <laughs> outrageous things to happen. So we're going to be using a rope here. Oh, I'm going to use a bomb too. I'm, feel I'm feeling it. Hey, I think so too, Melon. We've been playing really well tonight, uh, honestly. I really have nothing bad to say about tonight's gameplay experience. It's been good. I am, in fact... Uh, I feel like I'm playing better than I anticipated I would. It's a good feel. Oh, the bank is open. All right, um... I'm going to use one more rope here because I can. I mean, we got so much going on here. Bombs and a parachute. Okay. Hey, British Waldo. Thanks for the 35 months, man. I'm so glad you could make the live show tonight. Thanks for sharing the notification of being a part of the channel community for almost three years now. Hey, during that uh, break that we had, Ghost Haven 15, thanks for four consecutive months and pre-direct. Thanks for that great 13 months. You guys' generosity knows no bounds. Just thank you all once again for the wonderful opportunity to be here and entertain you. Awesome to be here on show number 1793. No matter how long we do this, it just never gets old. Appreciate it every single day. One thing I love about live streaming is each stream is kind of its own uh, encapsulated moment. Try to make the most of each moment that we have. Okay, let's light some torches in here, though. A little bit dark, don't you think? A little bit grim. Okay, so that's the correct way down. could rope back up with the pup, so I think we're just going to let this ride. Let's not do any weird risks here. Let's just roast him and toast him.
Okay, we lost our torch. That's fine. Then we're on our last, last little portion. Well, I don't trust it, but we don't even have to bomb for the puppy. Oh, excellent. Hey, Kawante, that's very true that you can crawl on the edge, like this edge right here, to go down on spikes. I, I still don't like doing that, though. I have a hard time even uh, going down with the cape. That would have been also uh, a decent solution there. Okay, we can just fall past this one. Whippin' Frenzy. Alright, bombs are always cool. When you're in the mines and you have more than 24 bombs, you know you're in a pretty decent spot. That wasn't scary at all. No key. Okay. Oh! Okay, the bank was only open a little bit. Thought maybe the bank was going to go all the way there. He was like that when I got here, officer. This guy, too. What are the odds? I almost paid the ultimate price there. A very good question, Lackeys. Lackeys asks, what does the puppy do for us? I hear the moral victory for rescuing man's best friend. At the end of each level, they bring the puppy to the exit, which is the damsel um, sprite in this case. Uh, it gives you plus one HP. You can also sacrifice the damsel to Kali for various rewards. But the main benefit is uh, getting that plus HP when you turn him in at the end. Hey, Dr. Landry. Glad the stream makes your day a better place. That's good. That's what I'm here for. Okay, I didn't take damage there, miraculously. I think that is the best part about streaming, at least it is for me. Always nice to be able to make somebody else's day better. I think a lot of uh, successfully streaming for me for so long has been about having the, the mind frame of appreciation and uh, appreciating the moments we have and the people that are here. Every little bit counts, and I think the way we communicate to each other uh, makes a big difference. Always do my best to treat you all with kindness, the least I can do. Hey, dude, that key got popped up there. That was sick. Trick shot or pure luck? You decide. It's pure luck. I'm buying out the store. There we go. Ooh, okay, I like this. Got the bombs for it, too. There's our Ash shotgun. Dude, get out of here with that, all right? Okay, I'm gonna loop back around for that, dude. Ah! 
Okay, I can get a free cape from that at least. Puppy is probably in there with the ghost statue. So this statue is different from the other statues. That one summons the ghost immediately, which is terrifying. We're just not going to do that unless so we don't need it. Okay, I can do the King's Tomb level there if we wanted to. I don't. Might as well go here. Oh, free jetpack, though? Serendipitous. You know what? I'm going to drain the pool here for one. We need to just get a jetpack, man. The King's Tomb level, you just bomb into the tomb there. You saw the, uh, the Skull Gravestone. Here, we'll go back to it real quick. Get to King's Tomb by bombing underneath here. It's right underneath the, uh, the crown. Okay, there's that. Did we already sacrifice one pups? I think that's a no. Get boopsin'. Poot! Okay, that's not great. I'm gonna wait for him to turn around and get this, though. Okay. You know what, dude? I'm at, I'm over it. You just have a nice bomb. Have a great one, man-eating plant. Spring boots. Do we want those? I mean, why not? Yes, they are a sprained ankle waiting to happen, but who cares? Moon boots. Yeah, if the plant eats you, you die instantly. That's true. Oh, blippins. I'm glad we checked over here. Where is it? Hmm. Oh, I see it up there. Okay. Way up in the core. I can't agree that uh, the boots are a bit dangerous with the jetpack, but man, jumping higher is sure fun. Well, if we make it out of here, we're going to have a truly ludicrous amount of bombs. What's on the bottom level? Uh, nothing we need. Okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Pitcher's mitt would have been cool, but it's all good. We're not going to bamboozle ourselves into getting killed this time. Mm -mm. We can see both shotguns on the ground. That's really good. We also saw both shopkeeps there. Sorry, Paparini. Not mean to bomb the second one there. Okay. That 
That's right, he was still alive. Alright, I'm gonna bomb down here because I'm a responsible Van Helsing. Godly Shizzle, thanks for 10 consecutive months. Really appreciate you keeping it dapper. So much love going around. Oh, we got another haunted level, huh? Okay. Well, there would be another free shotgun here. Ah, we'll use a bomb. I have 60 after all. If we die in a situation where we should have used a bomb, that's a shame. <laughs> because we got 60, too. Alright, he's hopping mad, that's fair. I just want to point out in this conversation in chat here that, uh, you know, I had a whole time where I was unable to steal from shopkeeps too. Just took some practice and we got a little more proficient at it. Okay, he's getting borked in there. Oh no! Did not mean that. Well, we get to keep our jetpack here, and we'll get our shotgun back. So our new objective is to go uh, worm into Mothership, which is what I wanted to do today, anywho. Oh, no! Yeah, that's shop keys for you. Hey, that's a really good call, Gawante, to go for um, Olmec kills before you try to escalate and go for the black market each time. We got double teamed. I thought the shopkeep, um, when we went down first, was the shopkeep from the store. In fact, it was not. We done goofed. That's okay. Everybody gets Spelunk playing Spelunky. There's always another fun run around the corner. The Punisher 309, welcome to the Dapper. Thanks so much for that prime support. You rock. Dead in there, okay. very concise there, uh, keyboard plus face, and I agree that stealing from the shopkeep black mark is probably the easier part, and the harder part is dealing with the shopkeeps at the end of the levels. Uh, Zell is 42. We took the rock over the arrow there because we can use the rock multiple times for the same purpose, where the arrow has only one damaging throw to it. After the first damage with the arrow, it becomes a broken arrow, which has a stun effect on it. But the rock is much more sustainable as a uh, projectile. Spike shoes pretty good here, sure. Okay, good enough. Confident there was no key here. Hell, we can grab this idol, though, if we wanted to. You know, probably not worth a rope at this point. Okay, that worked, I guess. Okay. 
Okay, what's over here then? Is this gonna be a snake pit level? No. Holy bum arenos. I almost threw the rock there. That would have been a bad idea, friend. 34 bombs already, though. Not a bad thing. Hey, Dakana, congrats on that first Slay the Spire victory. That's an awesome accomplishment. Really happy for you. Definitely be playing some more Slay the Spire soon. I almost played that today. I just decided not to. I do very much enjoy picking the game that we play right before we start the stream. It's been a very good adjustment since I made uh, made that small change. Much less stress and a lot more overall just enjoyment of play. Um, do I need to use a guy there? No. We can zip and zoop on up, grab the puppo for no ropes. Okay, that's a lot of snakes and stuff back there, though. Um, okay. Hi. Come on down. Hey, buddy. I fought a giant alien spider and all I got was a stupid paste. Just kidding, paste is amazing. Yep, you definitely read that correctly and the blood uh, blew up the crate there. And again. Oh! I thought that platform extended out, but it turns out there was a pit of spikes right there. It's gonna slide on down. Let's do it again. Whoopsie daisy, there's not a platform there. Oh! Okay. No, you're right, Olmec, you're right. That was, that was spikes. Classic Spelunky death. Mm -hmm. Alright, weak sauce down there. Oh, cool, Tosolos. Didn't know that. If you hit it while it's crawling, it reverses direction. Thanks for the uh, mechanic clarification on those giant spiders. It's really helpful. Thanks for sharing that bit of knowledge and helping us all get better at the game, Tosolos. Appreciate that. Double kill. Eh, no thanks on that one. Me and my lucky rock are out of here.
Hey, too. Best of luck with your Spelunky runs, man. I'll be rooting for you. I'm going to guess our key in Chester on this level. It's got that, that kind of layout look already. Here we go. Hoo. I am going to go ahead and buy... Well, I was going to buy the cape. Turns out I was broke. Wow, that spider got ground into a very fine paste. Think he's mad? Okay, I'm going to buy the cape here because I know it's the right choice. Cape also frees up a lot of... I'm going to buy it. Don't worry. I bought it. God, I just want to see if it fit first. Let's calm down, dude. Why do you think I would steal from the store? What makes you think that? Why would you think that about me? Hey, Elusive, have as good a day at work as you possibly can, man. Thanks for stopping by. There's the key, nice. Bamboozled. Sir Wall, thanks for 40 consecutive months. Legendary streak, my sir. Thanks for that big 4 0. Tech Champion 140 asks a great question. Says, Can the Anubis staff survive getting dunked in the lava? Just lost a run trying to avoid it. It certainly can, but it will sink down to the bottom, uh, Tech Champions. So what you got to do is bomb either on the side or below the lava to free up access to the staff. But just the staff falling in the lava itself does not destroy it. To my knowledge, the only way the staff becomes completely destroyed is if it um, gets crushed by a thwomp. Uh, I'm gonna buy bombs here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a squishy noise. Impalation's never the answer, sir. Missed a spot. It's a spider level. Now we don't have paste yet, so we're gonna have to make the most of this. All right, hey, how's how you spider guys doing? Having a good spider time, doing spider stuff? Good on ya. Sick hops, friend. All right, uh, high five. Turn all of your paste into one super paste. Extra pasty. I have no regrets about the massacre of the spiders this day. They had it coming and they know that.
Okay, real talk here. Um, in past experience, when I throw a rock at one of those barrels, it doesn't work out so good for me. So let's do it again. Hey, we didn't get hit in the face with our own rock. New record. Let me clarify that by saying my uh, previous experience uh, throwing rocks at those exploding barrels, the, the rock almost always comes back to hit you in the face. Almost always. But I think since we jumped there uh, before the fact, it actually worked out to our advantage. Alaria, thank you. So the exploding barrels will not uh, explode if they only fall one tile, so you can push them. Cool. Yay, knowledge. Hey, Nazrax, what's good, man? Okay. So we do want to make sure we're giving ourselves a chance to see the uh, black market if it exists here. Looking like a no for me, though. At least for the moment. Um, do I actually go in there? I don't think so. I'll bomb from the other side then. Right there. Ooh. It's a fair question for saying. For saying, that's why we often don't take the golden skulls when they're free money and sacrifices. It's just one more thing that we have to juggle. And since we are stealing from the black market, while uh, getting that little bit of extra is nice, it's not not a requirement for buying or receiving any items. If that makes sense. I slipped. It was a slippery ledge. Just kidding, that was all my fault. Okay, one more then, one more. It was dark. To further uh, clarify on that answer, uh, the main reason we need money and why I collect money more aggressively early on is we want to be able to buy a jetpack if we see it or be able to stock up on bombs. So by the time we reach about the jungle uh, and we're going towards the black market, we usually know where we're sitting as far as uh, resource consumption goes. Meaning we don't need as much money once we get to the, the jungle. By that time, we're either sorted or mostly sorted and just kind of trying to string along and make sure we get the black market to steal from. And then after we steal from the black market, there's no need for money whatsoever. But uh, habit dictates, and I think it's fun to at least partially clear those. If you're going to take the golden statues for money, uh, level two is definitely the best place to do it because uh, the only thing that happens there is the ground disappears below you. There's no giant boulder spawn or any other shenanigans. I will say, if you try to steal the statue from the temple, you'll probably end up dying. Sixteen G's and a puppo, not bad. Oh, 
Okay, that's bad. That did not stick. Are you ready to rumble? Uh oh. I think I'm gonna get rumbled on here. You're gonna be fine, pups. Whoa, that's a doozy down there. There we go. This is why we collect money early. You better believe it. That's very true. Ice Cave is a good place to steal the statue from, too. You got to have some, uh, some form of being able to float, though. Cave jetpack makes it pretty simple. I didn't mean to whip you, Puppos, twice. Just once. Spring shoes! Would you like to trade your fresh puppy for a pair of moon boots? Comes with a free ace ankle brace. Yeah, it smells bad, but it's free! You know, Nazor, if I had to choose between this heads-up display and the pro heads-up display, I'd probably prefer the pro heads-up display more. But since we're streaming here on Twitch and a lot of people watch on smaller mobile screens, I know for a fact that uh, this heads-up display makes sure everybody can see what's going on as far as our resources go. So a small consolation on my end. I'm always happy to take a little less uh, information to give everybody a better viewing experience. The main advantage to the Pro Hunt is it gives you the the timer, but our internal timer now is pretty pretty spot on. I usually know within about 15 seconds if that ghost is coming, so I get a little chill up my spine. You know what, Spider? You're in there in the corner, and I like corner spiders. I got one in our corner right now. Spring's coming too, so we need more corner spiders. You hang out there and you kill all the bugs. You get the bugs and the other spiders that are stupid enough to go over there. And you have a nice life. Okay. That was pretty rude. Ooh, that's really cool. Um, Zimius Katarn says, just learn something new. If you get the statue to the shopkeep before the rock falls in the mines, it will cancel the fall once the statue despawns. That's pretty cool. Now, I can tell on the uh, the transverse there, if you bring the, uh, the statue to the exit, it does not despawn the boulder. So to clarify there, uh, what was said is that you have to... Whoa! Before the rock actually falls from the sky, and if you get it before, then it despawns. The statue would have to be right next to the store for that to happen, but good to know it's at least a possibility. Okay, keys down there, good. What do you mean I don't have enough money? Yeah, well, I'll lug around this super heavy chest then. Now who's got the big bucks? Okay, Bat, come on, we can do this together. We're doing it, teamwork. Okay, you can also sacrifice the statue before the boulder falls, neat. So I guess the main thing is, if you can get rid of the statue existing before the boulder falls, it cancels the event. You know, I only got 3 HP here and I got 
17 bombs. More now? Gimme that, gimme that. Nope, I'm not gonna buy that mystery box. I know there's a climbing glove in there, sir. Yeah, I know your ways, you stinky shopkeep. That's also a corner spider. He can have his life. The Eye of Horus will allow us to uh, discover the black market inside of the jungle here, uh, Omega Axe. So the little blip you hear in the blue flash is from the uh, from the eye. Okay, what's actually back here? Hold on. Okay, angry shopkeep. Whoa. Is that a jetpack down there, though? How much for said jetpack? $26,000. That's a lot. Guess I better get to looting. I might actually end up stealing that from him. Oh, nice. Okay, well. Oh, am I gonna get 22,000 here? It's looking like no to me. Looking like no. Oh yeah, I'm totally interested in buying things. That's a lot of monkeys there. Do we have a Kali statue on this level? We do. We've already spent way too much time here. Free jetpack! Yeah! That had no uh, monetary or emotional costs at all. Chopping that uh, shopkeep to death in the machete. Just another day for the adventurer. He's quite desensitized. Hey, there's a Blippins right here. And a Blippins is you. Okay, well, we got early Blippins. That's nice. We also got this shopkeep down here, which I'd like to hit with a bomb, right? I'm gonna wreck this guy. I think we had to break his store no matter what. Sorry, bub. Alright, it's gonna get real as soon as we enter here. First thing we're gonna do is jump left and throw a rope. This guy right here, I don't like what you're doing, bud. Wait, is that mine then? Oh, it is. I don't want you, sir. Sir, why are you following me around? Oh my god, the bombs, though. Do you see that? Do you see that? This cult is a very simple man. <laughs> He's just having a day. This is a simple guy trying to live his life. Yeah, I knew that shopkeep wasn't out of there. Okay, we got Matic here, so let's take the Matic and dig our way down.
We have 81 bombs right now. That's a lot. Okay, we got the Ankh too. Nice. Okay. Give that guy a high five. Well deserved. Let's take it a look around. I see you, pups. I should probably try to rescue the pups here. If we're not going to get the gob, but we do want some health, I guess. Ooh, there's Kali. Oh, God, there's a little fish in there. The Leprechaun. Thanks for keeping it dapper, man. Appreciate the two consecutive months. And many more. Hope you're having a most wonderful night. Okay, well, there we got the goblet. Just had to say we weren't going to get it to get it. There's nothing RNG about the goblet. It's um, 100% under your control. Okay. That spike pit there is nice. Yep, that happened. Is that three? All right, so four dead guys. I almost died there, man. Okay, now the next Puppo Sacrifice should give us plus 8 HP. We want to do that on uh, the ice level after we resurrect. Maddox, all right, I guess. Give me that juice. Okay, I mean, there's that. It's a pretty weird spot for it. There's Puppy. Hmm. I don't know. I think I think I'm ready to get in it to win it. Oh boy, here we are at the worm. We do have uh, a lot of freaking bombs at this worm, though, so that's nice.
Hmm. Interesting thing there. Is this the big pool? It is. All right, so this weapon is a huge upgrade uh, to your whip. It one-shots pretty much everything. But for our purposes here, we're going to mess around with the shotgun for another minute. Pepperoni pizza. How you doing? Ah, yes. Wild flailing works again. Call me crazy. I just love that pepperoni. Oh yeah, you can blow up these with uh, that whip too. Pretty nice effect. All right, we made it through the worm, guys. Okay, Pepperini's down there. Good for him. All right, guys, I got 67 bombs. Do I actually want to bring the shotgun in here? I don't think so. Well, maybe. Uh, DJ Lights, if we also complete the mothership now, we're going to spawn on 3-4 again, and that 3-4 will have uh, an entrance or the resurrection statue. Okay, we're going to slow and steady this one. Okay, we do not want to fire at that, so we fire into the purple stuff. <laughs> Instantaneous death, because it re reflects back at us. Okay, there's the mother brain uh, pips. Where is she? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Would you look at that pepperoni right there at the exit? What a guy. Just hop in there, pups. It's cool. I don't know about best weapon in the game, Welch. Most dangerous and fun weapon in the game? Certainly. 
But one thing's for sure, our uh, sacrifice head is going to be here. Whoa! The spicy meatball. There's Kali statue, so we do have a self-sacrifice available here. Awesome. I don't know if that gives us uh, HP when we resurrect or not. I guess we're going to find out. Here we go. Okay, no extra HP there. That's fine, though. We still got our jetpack, and we resurrected. Anyways, thank you all for your wonderful communication. There's been so much great communication and uh, uh, discussion in the chat tonight about all sorts of stuff, but mostly the game's mechanics. You guys are doing an awesome job, and I appreciate it uh, so very much. It really does make a huge difference. The dapper rocks it with good communication every night, but it's important to say. Don't want you to think that goes unrecognized, because it certainly doesn't. Three cheers to all the great communicators. Oh! Yeah, you're playing the music, but uh, you're big time, Deadski. Big time, crushing to a fine pace. That we got the uh, the HP there off of the sacrifice means I counted wrong, uh, and our self-sacrifice was not that threshold, though it brought us closer. Okay, so our entrance to the City of Gold is going to be somewhere on the main pathing for this level. That's a guarantee. There it is. Um, I'm going to puke it, dude. Yeah, there we go. Give me that juice. Nice one. Now, there's plenty of stuff in here that can still instantly kill us, just like that thwomp right there. Looks like we found the Anubis Chamber. That's nice. Nice and easy. Okay, since we don't have the, uh, the glove this time, I'm going to use this here. So I can throw from here. There we go. Oh, I didn't get him. Is there like another hallway down there? Not really. We got 52 bombs, right? So, whoa, buddy. What you just did there, not cool. Hey, zombies, well, glad you could learn something new because of the stream. I can certainly uh, say that uh, mummy puke farming was suggested by somebody in chat at some point. Just passing it on. 
There we go. Now that guy can't throw me uh, for mass damage or throw me underneath Olmec. That's how our last run ended. Left that guy alive and whoopsie doozle. Look at all these boxes. I feel like when you already have an outrageous amount of bombs, you get like the most boxes in Olmec. When you're low on bombs, it gives you like two. But that, of course, is just confirmation bias. Okay, Olmec, okay, where is the Necronomicon telling us the Helldor is? Over here somewhere. All right, gonna bring Olmec to the right, then. Okay, it's right here, right? So this is the block that it's on. So we're gonna bomb uh, over here and over here. If you bomb right in between two blocks, it breaks four blocks in total, giving you the best explosion possible. Bit of a weird area here. Olmec's just waiting, he knows. Uh-oh. We're a little bit far over here. You know, in fact, uh, I'm going to use even more bombs here because I really uh, misread uh, my opening. Got to make this over this way a little bit more. At least two more. Yeah, right here. Without bombs, you can do several strats, including running back and forth uh, underneath Olmec uh, can work. Okay, that makes me feel a little better. Yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, so if you run under him, he smashes more blocks. It's pretty tricky. We used way more resources than we needed to there, but you know what? Better safe than sorry, since we still have 50 bombs left. I just really don't care about the amulet here. That's the truth. Oh my god, I didn't know he did that. I didn't know they jump like that, man. I'm just gonna go down here. No. Is he gonna walk off the edge? What a good guy. dead? He's dead. There's a shotgun right there, too. Awesome. I think that's the legitimate pups. The legit pups howls every 10 seconds, so indeed it is. You 
Yeah, it's the time if we finish this run, it's the first time we've done the Worm and Mothership on a winning run. In fact, it's the first time I've completed Worm and Mothership in the same run, period. TR Merrick. Thanks for the 29 consecutive months, uh, getting ever near that 36 indeed. Thanks for the almost three years of continuous support, TR Merrick. Sure does mean a lot. Well, the shotgun's down, so we might as well go here. So, time. Thanks for 18 months, man. Really appreciate you keeping it dapper. Thanks for keeping that streak alive with Twitch Prime, dude. You are wonderful. Okay, we don't even need to uh, mess around with that here. Nice. Oh no! We're fine. Take that, you son of a gun. GG. Ma Maverick 29, thanks for 59 consecutive months, one away from five years. What a legend. Hey, we made it all the way to the end. Get out of here, Yang. Let's get some sweet music and some damper time in our gold.
GG. What a great run that was. I knew we had a Splunky winning us tonight. Took a while to get there. We had some really fun deaths on the way, though. That's for sure. BB Heat, thanks for the 10 consecutive months. The big one zero indeed. Well, alas, guys, that is going to be all of our time for today. Just the way that it worked out. Today, we'll be back at it strong tomorrow on Friday. It's been an amazing week of stream so far. We're not done yet. I look forward to tomorrow's stream starting around 6 p.m. Pacific. Thanks for the great time playing Isaac and Splunky tonight. I had a great one, and I look forward to doing it again. Take it easy, everybody. Keep it damper, and be good to each other. See you soon. Hey, Samurai Hamster 52 thanks for the year and a half as we're getting out of here. Thanks. I'm glad you enjoyed the Spelunky run. That's wonderful to hear. Just have a great night, everyone. Take it easy, Googles. David, Armadillo, KGBC, Flipside, Mo2400, and all you wonderful people who took the time to watch the stream today. Tomorrow at 6 p.m. Pacific, we'll do it up again. Take it easy.